Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I thought it would be fun to start off this reading with a crystal singing bowl since the topic of this one is crystal clear messages what you need to know right now obviously this is very crystal themed so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, explain to you what we got going on here we have group one with the fluorite group two with prendahite group three with rose quartz uh, we're going to be exploring just basically what you need to know right now. Uh, what general messages do we have here in the cards? Don't know. You know, it could be anything. So we're just going to find out now, aren't we? So please do remember this is a general reading, as I mentioned, not a personal one. So there's no reason to take anything personally. If something doesn't resonate, you just move on to the next message or pick a different group or maybe even try a different, uh, you know, video if this one just isn't resonating with you. It's no big deal. Okay. So anyways, um, if you are interested in personal readings, there is information on that in the drop down box, plus my Patreon information, which I am opening up some more um, personal reading t uh, spaces and a, a whole new tier starting on May 1st. So if you're interested in that, you want to check it out. The link's in the bottom there. So anyways, go ahead, pause the video, do whatever it takes in order to pick your groups and let's go ahead and get started with this. Okay, for those of you who picked fluorite for number one, this is going to be your reading. We're gonna go ahead and take a look and see what comes up for you guys. So what messages do you need to hear? We have the Hermit. We have the Strength card, very interesting. So this is big stuff for this group. We have the Page of Swords and we have the Star card. All right. Wow. <laughs> I feel like there's there's a couple things that I'm picking up here. Some of you definitely have been really doing some soul searching lately. And because of it, you've gained a lot of strength through this process. I feel like you've learned that over the years, maybe some of the difficulties and obstacles that you've uh, encountered have only, you know, made you a stronger individual. You're very, I feel like a lot of you are very spiritual people in nature. Some of you definitely could be Leos. Some of you could definitely be Virgos or Aquariuses as well because we have the star card. But I feel like, you know, you've been doing a lot of work, okay? However, it's also I'm feeling that some of you are just really, I feel like you guys are really following your passion and you're utilizing a talent that you were born with. Okay, because um, these two particularly are sticking out to me as very career related cards for some reason in this reading. So with the Page of Swords, like I said, this could be some, uh, you guys are utilizing a talent, like a, a natural born talent, a gift that you guys have had since an early age. And you are utilizing it now and it's like, it's really starting to pay off. And for some of you, this could be heavily on the communication ends of things. Um, but also for some of you, you could just straight up be in some kind of profession where you are auditioning for things. You could be an actress, a singer, something like this. And I feel like it's, you, you've got some recognition coming your way. Also, this could indicate, like I said, anything having to do with communication jobs, uh, you know, anything where we are definitely like gathering a lot of information and utilizing it in a career. But I feel like a lot of you also are just feeling the call that this is something that you, you need to do or that you want to do. Um, also for some of you, definitely you could, like I said, you guys could do something in the computer industry. Some of you could actually be some sort of healer or like going into the medical profession as well. I feel like some of you might even want to be a vet. Okay, and you like want to help animals or work with animals in some way. 
Um, some of you actually could be wanting to be a, even a, like as I said, the health field, it could be a doctor or it could be a dentist as well. Cause sometimes the strength card can indicate dentistry, but, um, either way, no matter what, it's like, this is a time where it's like, it's a very, I, I'm just like getting this like really amazing, like strong kind of energy here that this is something very near and dear to your heart. And it's like, you're very, it's like, it takes you to a deep spiritual place when you're doing it. It just feels right. I feel like some of you definitely are following that North node path and you are really, fo you found your true North and you are going for it. Some of you could be wanting to work with children too, or youth in general, like applying it to these, one of these areas. Um, but it's like, I feel you're very hopeful and you're looking forward to the future. You're very future oriented as well. It's really weird. I also got the image of somebody who designs video games, okay, coming up here. And it's like, you're really enjoying it. It's like paying off. You're having a good time with it. I also feel like in particular for this group, the time periods and the seasons, you know, that are particularly coming up, like as far as Zodiac time periods, we have Virgo, we have Leo season. Why am I not surprised that you're there? <laughs> this is constantly coming up in readings that I do. And then also 2022 Aquarius season. Okay, so let's see what else we can delve into here. We have desert, resilience and strength. We have Pipestone with, or Catlinite with Ancestors and your Root Chakra. We have Pyrite. Wow. Look at this. This is weird. Unakite with uh, Live in the Now. Huh. Sorry, I was like pausing because I was like getting messages there. So obviously, I feel like some of you definitely... Uh, <sighs> Why do I feel like you guys are from the desert or you're going to be moving closer to the desert? And it's funny, we're talking about entertainers and stuff like this. When I think of desert, there's two places I think of. I think of LA and I think of Las Vegas. So those are the two places that really pop out in my head when it comes to desert, especially if it deals with entertainment. <coughs> and yes, Southern California is a fucking desert, people. <laughs> Big time. So yeah, the, those two are really standing out for some reason to me. It's funny because we have strength mentioned here and strength mentioned here. I feel like you guys have really gained in strength spiritually. I just feel like you guys have just grown. You're just grown-ups now, <laughs> you know? It's like you've, you've, really, you've really come into your own. And I feel like it's, I feel like for a lot of you, your ancestors, through this spiritual journey also that you're on here, because that's what life is. Um, I feel like you really have like specific, like your guides are some of your ancestors and some of you guys might know it. Also for some of you, you could be being called to a specific area to go work there or whatever. You feel so strongly about it because you've had a past life there. You have soul ancestors from these areas. It's just like you have a strong connection because that's where you're from. That's like, you've been there. You've lived a life there before. And we have pyrite here. Pyrite is definitely a manifestation so stone. It is one, uh, like if you're like, especially if you're doing like manifestation or spell work where you're trying to gain money, uh, definitely material wealth. That is the stone to use for that. And then we have live in the now. So I feel like with this root chakra and this live in the now, this is a reminder for you guys to not get your head too hard in the clouds and to really make sure that you ground yourself on a regular basis. And with the pyrite too, it makes me think of the uh, solar plexus chakra, which is, you know, very golden, you know, very, you know, yellow color associated with it. So I, like I said, I feel like a lot of you have really come into your personal power and you're, you're really following your, your path and you're, it's, you are very resilient. You are very strong because I feel like all this stuff, you realize now that all the things that you've experienced in the past, no matter how uncomfortable, they're what made you who you are today and what brought you to this moment. So it's like, you're like, eh, no biggie. You know, I'm good. I made peace with my past and stuff. So, and I feel like for some of you, you're definitely living in the now, but some of you, this is a reminder you need to, to make sure you're living in the now and you're not so focused and worried about the past 
or the future. Um, but I feel like for most of you, you're definitely like living in the present. And this is a reminder. This is These are the two areas of, like, of your energy centers that definitely need to have attention uh, paid to them on a regular basis because I feel like they're the areas you're going to need to have cleared out quite a bit. I also feel like some of you have been really shy and kind of reserved and now you've really come out of your shell too. So let's take a look at this one right here with the Unakite. And see the message, the extended message for you right here. Wow, and this is this is the last this is the last uh, card in the whole deck. Sorry, I need a sip of water. Or Gatorade in this case. <laughs> There's no time like the present. The past is done and the future hasn't happened yet. This is kind of funny because this kind of reminds me of the past. And this definitely reminds me of the future. And this is the now, okay? Utilizing what you've got. Living in the moment. Staying strong. Being resilient. So, so ground yourself in the here and now. Holy shit, that's the root chakra, right? Our busy lives and busy minds... With our, with our busy lives and busy minds, this can be hard to do, but being mindful and in the moment allows you to make the most out of every aspect of your life. Allow yourself the opportunity to really connect with those around you and fully invest yourself in everything you do. Try to avoid distractions or letting your mind wander, especially about matters you have no control over. Immense, excuse me, a bleh, sorry. <laughs> Immerse yourself in each experience. Put your heart and soul into every action and bring a sense of gratitude to where you are in your life. Here and now is where you will find true contentment. It's true. So the core question with this is, where is your mind right now? Wishing you could change the past, worrying about the future, or being in the present. What are you most grateful for right now? So these are the questions that, uh, you know, the exercise that goes with this card. So the general action or the affirmation here is I live in the now. Write down three things that you are grateful for in this present moment. And seriously, if you've never done like a gratitude uh, exercise before or, you know, like a whole month where every day you write about something that you're grateful for or you have gratitude for, you really should try it. I've done it before. And it really makes you realize how blessed your life really frigging is. So I feel like this group, definitely you want to look into that. So we have Pyrite here. Let's take a look at this. And this is card 45. And Pyrite. Inherit value. Knowing your worth. Yes, knowing your worth. That is definitely that, that solar plexus chakra, Okay. Self-appreciation, genuine abundance, and prosperity within. Yes. Awesome sauce. Okay, so there is a general, a relationship, and a prosperity message. I think I'm going to go ahead and read the general on this one, I think. Throughout the ages, humans have sought the gems of the earth, the crystals whose beauty delighted the eye, and whose powers could aid them in their quest to achieve a sense of safety and abundance. They recognize the intrinsic value of these gifts from nature. And when pyrite spirit appears, you are meant to appreciate the abundance that the conscious universe has provided. An abundance of opportunities, resource, support, and most importantly, love. A scarcity mentality will prevent you from seeing all that is available to you. And you are called now to offer thanks for the myriad of gifts you have been given to help you achieve balance. As you take your healing journey, you will find it easier and easier to recognize that you will always have what you need. Abundance awaits as you ready yourself to claim it. The conscious universe has your back. What you need will not be denied you at this time. So open yourself to receiving it by practicing appreciation. Yes, that's kind of crazy because that's what this one was talking about as well. Okay. Oh my gosh. You know what? You know what, I'm going to read the other two for you as well because I just glanced at that and I'm like, yes, I think so. So Pyrite Spirit has a clear message for you. Observe and appreciate the inherent value in your experiences and relationships. Those small moments of joy as you interact with the ones you love. Those people around you who offer you support. Do you stop to appreciate the culminative efforts of your relationships with those who enhance your life? Today is a perfect day to do so. 
And as you look at the inherent value of things, notice the wealth of wisdom you are gaining as a result of a variety of experiences with a diversity of people. Pay attention to whether your relationships have inherent value. Are some simply ones you have accumulated, perhaps even starting to detract from your life? If they have no inherent value, let them go. For you are meant to experience relationships rich in love and support. And then the prosperity messages. Prosperity shows up in different forms. Do you see and appreciate the inherent value of what you own, enjoy, and experience? Pyrite spirit, also known as fool's gold, you guys, reminds us that there is a great value in many aspects of life, not just the material. This crystal spirit is here to draw your attention to all that is available to you, support, love, and resources to build upon. You don't have to do it all by yourself, for the conscious universe is your ally and wants you to experience prosperity. The road sometimes gets a little wonky, but only because you are being called to consider the riches you may be overlooking in your quest for more. Find the inherent value in what is yours. The memories, experiences, and situations that have brought you here to the brink of a breakthrough if you are willing to practice appreciation, move away from externally imposed systems of valuation, val valuation, yes, and what other what offers find worth what others find worthy to determine and appreciate what is valuable to you. Pyrite spirit will show you how much you have and are manifesting to co-create your most abundant life. Sorry, I'm like choppy today. I've been a little bit out there. Uh, I've done a couple readings today, so it's like some of them are pretty freaking heavy. <laughs> and, you know, this one, it's like, you guys really, this is like all about gratitude. I feel like f this is like the key to your success too, is to really be tapping into that attitude of gratitude. Because I feel like when you do that, it also like radiates a kind of an energy off of you. Well, it does radiate an energy off you that is really attractive, not only to other people, but also to opportunities, because it shows that this person, you know, gives a shit kind of, and is, is caring and giving, because seriously, you can't go wrong with having a positive attitude, especially when it comes to that department of things. Um, because obviously, if somebody's gonna give you an opportunity, they want, they want you to appreciate it, I guess you could say. Um, to be specific there. So when people show that they have gratitude for others and the, the things and the experiences that they've had in, in their life, it's like, like I said, it's just an attractive quality, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know. I just like feel, I almost want to say it makes somebody feel trustworthy, I guess you could say. Like you feel comfortable around them because you know that they're inherently at, at heart a very good person. So we have Pipestone and Catlinite. Let's see what these are all about here. So, with this one, haha, your ancestors are calling to you, waiting for you to start to acknowledge them. <laughs> yes, this is a powerful time for you to delve more deeply into who you really are and to find out where your family has come from. Holy shit. You may feel a strong pull to a particular culture, yes, that may not be in your current family bloodlines. This culture may have been part of who you were in a past life, or you may have some soul link to these ancestors. Pay attention to any particular cultures or belief systems that you find yourself drawn to at this present time. Now is an optimal time to research your family lineage. Wow, I feel like you guys definitely like the talent you're using. You know, even if it's like you you look at your your mom, your dad, your brothers, sisters, or whatever, and it's like not somebody in your immediate family, you're like, where the fuck does this talent of mine come from? Because I feel like what it is that you do, other people in your family can't do. And they just kind of look at you like, how the hell do you know how to do this? That's because it comes from another ancestor at another time, you guys. It doesn't have to be this exact bloodline. It could come from another bloodline that you had before in another previous life. See, our physical bodies carry like our physical DNA, but our natal charts kind of have a little, it's like a looky, look see into where you came from astrologically, like spiritually, like your soul DNA, okay? So this is, I feel like you definitely have that. And especially when you have this card here and then you have this card here, most definitely, you guys have a very special talent 
and you've adopted it and it's come from who you were in a previous life, most likely, okay? Your ancestors have been with you in many lifetimes and they are here today to offer up, offer you strength and wisdom. You are not alone. Call upon them for help and guidance whenever you need to. Pipestone, also known as Catlinite, is a sacred crystal in Native American culture. So some of you could have Native American blood right now or you were in a past life. So it is carved into sacred pipes and used in other sacred objects. And I, uh, they often uh, carved it into uh, like animal shapes and stuff like this as well. It is carved into sacred... Okay, so Pipestone is associated with the root chakra and is used to connect with the ancestors, great spirit, and to the earth. So I also feel like uh, getting grounded outdoors and in nature on a regular basis is just going to just freshen you up and make you feel good, might inspire you, and uh, like, especially if you get any kind of creative blocks or something, doing that on a regular basis is just going to help you. Why do I feel like some of you guys like to hike in the desert? Um because that is showing up here. Anyways, guys, so that's it. That's all I have for this group. Thank you so much for being with me today. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell in the drop-down box. There's all my personal reading information, my Patreon information, and social media information. Thank you guys for being with me today, and I will catch you next time. Okay, Bye. Okay, for those of you who picked group two with the print height here, gonna talk to some uh, ETs. <laughs> Google it if you don't know about Pren Height. Look at look at look it up. Learn what it's about. Because I feel like you guys were drawn to this group partially by that crystal. And you might want to learn more about it. So, anyways, let's take a look and see what came up in the cards for you guys. Wow, we have the seven of cups. Woohoo! We have the sun. We have the six of swords. Oh my gosh. And then we have the two of cups. <laughs> Okay, guys. I feel like, first off, I'm just going to say this. You guys have a really good imagination. That's just like, I feel like you have the um, ability to take this imagination and turn it into a money-making idea, okay? So for some of you, definitely, uh, that's what you want to be looking into. I just, I just feel that. Um, but also, I feel like a lot of you could be presented right now with a choice. It's like, I feel like you have a lot of options and where you want to take your next steps. And I don't feel like you're going to make a bad decision because we have the sun card here. So it's like shows like <laughs> really good shit coming your way. I also feel like whatever this choice is, it has to do possibly about moving away, could be moving away over a body of water. Like you could be, when I say that, it doesn't always mean an ocean, okay, you guys? It could mean across a lake. It could mean across a river. It could be like, you know, even crossing the St. Lawrence Riverway from the United States going up into Canada. I don't know why that came up into my mind very specifically though, but there you have it. You know, it could be something like that. But yes, it can be over a body, a large body of water, like an ocean or a sea or something like this. I see that when this happens, you're definitely going to uh, be partnering up with somebody. The Six of Swords uh, can indicate definitely that you are leaving behind. And it's like, it could have been like a little bit confusion. I really don't think this is a, there's very much bad energy here at all with this freaking group. It's really actually very positive. I feel like the reason why you had so many choices is because you have a lot of talent and a lot of abilities and you really put the effort in to, uh, pr like, you, you, you manifested these opportunities. And I feel like that they kind of come in all at once. And you're like, fuck. <laughs> I, I knew I was going to get at least one good response, but I didn't know it was going to be this many. <laughs> and that's great. But then you're like having a little bit of like, oh, shit, what do I choose? What do I choose? I don't know what to do. But you find the answer. Okay, and I feel like it's going to be very evident and very clear as to which choice to make. I don't know why, but you know, obviously, I'm see I keep looking at those sunflowers for some reason, and it's like they're really standing out to me. Why do I feel like there's something to do with this? Like either seeing a sunflower or something to do with sunflowers could have something to do with like almost like a sign in synchronicity like as to which choice to make. I know that sounds really weird, but 
I don't know, you might see some imagery or something like near, I don't know, it's just gonna pop up and you're gonna just like, no, it was so fucking weird. Uh, but then we have the Six of Swords. So some of you also could be, besides moving at a distance and moving over water, you could be involved in some kind of work aboard a ship. You could be taking a cruise. For some of you, that's could be, you guys could be taking a cruise. Like this could just like be talking about like choosing where you want to go on vacation and you're going to find the perfect place to go. And when you go, it's going to be like, uh, something very magical is going to occur. If you know what I mean. Um, six of swords could also be talking about, uh, I, I'm just going to say like for some of you, you could be like going into the military. Um, because that, that is what the six of swords can also represent when it comes to careers. Okay. Uh, for some of you also with that sun card there, this could be talking about, um, some of you could be getting a job in, you know, dealing that has something to do. It's like a leadership position where I know you're going to love it and it's really fun. Some of you are going to be working outdoors. Maybe that's why the sunflowers are really sticking out. Um, I definitely feel like a lot of you are just going to be like working with people and it's like in a position where it's like, it's very social. So you're always like, you know, in the public eye because of what you're doing. And because of that, you're going to catch the eye of a special someone I feel like. Okay. So let's take a look at your Oracle cards to see what came up here to see. Oh, look at this. Keep it simple. <laughs> when it comes to the decision making, I feel like that's a good freaking piece of advice is to make sure you keep it simple. We have Lepetalite here. We have Seraphinite with Honesty, Heart and Third Eye Chakras. This is card 38. By the way, this is 32. So obviously, you need to take a hard, honest look at what it is that you really want and what you're passionate about. Because I don't think you should make a decision, like, even if it, like, I feel like, for in particular, like, if it's a job opportunity, and it's like, the money looks so fucking good, oh my god, and you're gonna have this and that and stuff because of the money, but then the job itself doesn't light you up, it doesn't make you happy, and the fact that you'd be having to deal with certain things just is not good, don't do it. <laughs> you need to be honest with yourself. Even if you have to take a little bit less money, is the other thing going to make you really happy? You know, I feel like this group needs to look at the pros and cons and keep it simple. Get down to brass tacks. What is it that really lights you up? What is it makes you happy out of all these choices? Okay. And we have Aquamarine. Go with the flow. That's kind of crazy because the Six of Swords is always about, you know, leaving stormy, choppy waters into smooth, flowing, smooth sailing. You know, we have go with the flow. You know what's even trippier about this? Aquamarine is a crystal that you use while traveling to protect you. Sailors used it and carried it with them, okay, over water. Yeah, and I was talking about work aboard ships and taking a cruise, and we literally have aquamarine showing up. That is fucking wild, okay? Also, I think it's kind of funny because we have a purple stone here, and we have a green, and we have another kind of a greenish right here. And look at what colors are in the violets. So I feel like for you guys, working with that third eye chakra and working with the heart chakra on a regular basis is going to, oh my God, <laughs> heart and third eye. <laughs> Obviously, you need to work with Seraphinite and Lapidolite and Aquamarine. Hello, dog. My dog just came in here to join us today. Hello. So anyways, oh, I feel that... Like I said, whatever is lighting you up, whatever really brings you bliss and makes you happy, this is where, where you need to go with this, okay? So let's take a look and delve deeper into these cards and see the messages here. So, oh, wait, let's try keep it simple first with Violet. So with this one, it says, Wild Violets are early spring flowers that have a tremendous amount of lore surrounding them. Violets often send out runners to produce new plants. This is part of its message. Keep things simple and add new growth based on the old growth. This is what will create real opportunities and true success for you now. Keep things simple and keep stretching out a little 
keep stretching out a little at a time. Plenty of opportunities are about. And as long as we keep things simple, see there it is right there, we can take advantage of as many of them as possible. Well, that's great. You have laid a good root system. Now build upon it. Yes, because you've worked hard and now you have all these opportunities. Yes, and so this is, like I said, pros and cons list. Figure it out. You guys got this, seriously. <laughs> so let's take a look at the Aquamarine now, which I think is like, what is this, like the first card or one of the first cards in here? Yeah, it's in the first pages. Not the first card, though. So go with the flow. Stay fluid. If one way of doing things isn't working, find another way. Remain open to seeing things from different vantage points and perspectives. That's this right here. If plans change or obstacles arise, chart a new course. Holy shit. To get to the other side. Holy crap, this is wild. You are like water, unstoppable. Keep moving and you will get to where you want to go. Sometimes it just takes a bit of fluidity to get there. No matter how strong the current, remember to go with the flow, flow and enjoy the ride. So the core questions here are, what causes you to feel attached to an outcome? What could result if you were flexible? How can you show up to meet unexpected changes. And so the affirmation with this card is, I surrender to the ebbs and flows of life. And then today, release your expectations for how a situation is supposed to go. Stay fluid and go with the flow. Very interesting. <laughs> so much reference to these up here. Whatever you go, you guys do, it's like we've got love as the result and we have the sun shining down on you. It's all good, okay? So we have Sarah Finn. I, I feel like you guys definitely have like angels uh, you know, guiding you and protecting you at this time, because definitely this is what this stone is all about. So it's time for you to be honest with yourself. Take time to identify the changes that you need to make in your life so that you can feel fulfilled and happy. Focus on healing yourself today by being completely honest with yourself. What do you need to do to feel completely happy and healthy? Once you have been honest with yourself and you have identified what it is that you do and don't want in your life, you can then make changes. During this process of change, listen to your heart, stay true to yourself, be wary of accepting other people's agendas or other people's advice at this time. Be sure to surround yourself with people you can trust because some people come from a place of ego or self-service. Too many people's viewpoints can cloud your judgment be true to you. That's this right here too. You can also ask your angels and spirit guides for help. They will send you the answers. Pay attention to any signs or messages they send you. Trust in what you see. Yes. Trust in what you see, hear, and feel. Seraphonite is a beautiful healing crystal which aids in angelic communication. It also is associated with your heart and third eye chakras. I have a piece next to my bed. It's great stuff. So we have Lepetalite here too. So let's see the message behind this one, which is card 32. Oh, there it is right there. The essential meaning is simplification, manageability, organization, and one task at a time. Yes, that's the pros and cons list. Simple, simplifying things, right? Exactly. So Lepetalite spirit appears to tell you to slow down and simplify. For you have been turning your attention and your energy too far, too many different things, distracting yourself from the wisdom available to you. If you feel lost and overwhelmed, it's no wonder. That's totally this card. Fortunately, Lepidolite Spirit is here to focus you. Think about how satisfying it is to do one task from beginning to end with mindfulness, free of all the noise that distracts you and keeps you from feeling a sense of completion. There is always more to do, but life becomes more manageable when you recognize that refocusing over and over again will only exhaust you and slow you down. Remain present. Doing just one thing and your courage and convic uh, conviction and confidence will return. Take on one task at a time, then it will be easier to hear the quiet voice of your intuition, which will guide you in prioritizing. What needs to get done will get done, and your life will become more manageable if you allow, if you, or excuse me, if you follow this crystal's lead, yes. 
So anyways, for the people who uh, are looking for a relationship message, let's see the relationship on this. It says problems in relationships have a way of sorting themselves out. When we reorient ourselves by simplifying, letting go of the string of worries that has us jumping here and there and feeling that we can never do enough or be enough to make our relationship work. Settle into simplicity and bringing the energy of lapidolite spirit into your relationships. Slow down and listen, saying simply, I'm sorry, yes, and I see. Simply being present and focused on another person, listening to the words they speak and the messages they send silently through the language of their bodies, you will start to feel calmer. Whatever the challenge, simplicity can help keep things simple. Holy shit. I think for some of you, there might even be a few of you who have been considering if you should, uh, you know, if a relationship is going to work out or if it's going to last. I think you're too worried and too focused about all the what ifs and you're not focusing on the person themselves and just being in the moment. You're so worried about, am I going to get married? Is this the one? Is this, the, is this how it's going to be? Oh my God, is this all there is? Is there somebody else? Or did they have something? You know, stop. <laughs> stop worrying about that. Focus on them. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy the time that you have with this person, I feel like, okay? So uh, the prosperity message with this one is, Lepidolite spirit shows up when we are most likely to freak out. It gently soothes us with its message. Keep it simple. Holy shit. Oh my God. <laughs> Figuring out finances can lead to a harried state even if you are good at math because money represents your security in this world. Now is a time to release your fears and experience that focusing on just one task and completing it will return you to equilibrium. One thing, then another, then another. It will all sort itself out if you can simplify and focus. And legit, the meditation with this, it says, Lapidolite is the go-to stone for times of stress. It teaches us to slow down and care for ourselves. All... Although useful in meditation, this stone is just as effective placed in the bathtub while we soak. Have a cup of tea and relax. So obviously, you guys, if you're feeling any kind of stress or worries because you are overanalyzing things, time to grab some of this, some of this, and some of this. Keep things simple and just chill the F out because you are going to be fine, okay? I mean, seriously, the sun is shining down on you. Just focus on the now. Focus on your person, too. You know, if you're in a relationship or you're dealing with a relationship, you just started one or something, just don't worry about the what ifs. Don't worry about the future. Don't worry about the past. Be in the here and the now, okay? When you do that, you focus all your energy on the task at hand. And this is, like I said, I always say when the magic happens. So anyways, guys, that's it. That's all I have for this group. Make sure to like and subscribe. In the drop down box, there's information on my Patreon, how to join my Patreon. There is uh, personal reading information and my social media information. Thank you guys for being with me today and I will catch you next time. Hey, for those of you who picked group three with the Rose Quartz, <clears throat> this is going to be your reading. So let's see what came up in the tarot cards for you. So we have, oh nice, oh, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Looks like you have a very nice, very lucrative offer coming in, wow. We have the Six of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. Somebody is definitely giving you a, this could be like an internship or a mentorship or something like this. Somebody is coming in to like save the day and help you out for sure. Or you are getting such a wonderful offer that you're gonna be able to pay it forward to maybe some friends and family members as well. Oh yeah, we have the emperor here. Holy shit. We have the ace. Oh my God. You have two aces. You have the ace of cups and then you have the king of wands. Okay. Wow. It's funny. We have the emperor and we have the king of wands, which, you know, both are fiery. Okay. So this is Aries energy. The king of wands is, you know, very fire sign. So Looks like for some of you, definitely there is an offer of love coming in as well as abundance. Like when it comes to like a job offer or something like this. Oh my God, there's so many messages here. Where do I begin? <laughs> Holy shit. So some of you definitely are finding love. I feel like some of you could be accepting some kind of job that legit, like you're going to be traveling a lot because this is the king of wands here. Uh, this does indicate a lot of travel that is involved. 
Um, this could be some kind of, uh, you know, private enterprise kind of a job. It could be a leadership position. Some of you could be getting like, uh, this definitely has to do with finance uh, because look at all the, you know, the pinnacles we have there. We have the emperor energy where this could be maybe something that you even started yourself um, and like you're independent and working for yourself. And through this, I feel like you're going to meet somebody. I just feel like they are very fiery in nature. They could be very theatrical. They're kind of, they're mature. This is, I feel like this is very emotionally fulfilling as well as, you know, financially fulfilling. Uh, there's, there's like so many messages here. Holy fuck. So definitely some of you, this is about career only. Some of you, this is about career and love. And some of you, this is just about love, okay? But it's very, very successful. With the emperor here, so with the emperor and the king of wands, it's like I really feel like this person uh, for, the love, uh, for the love relationship, this person is very very well off they're very they're self-employed probably or they could be uh holding like some kind of high position in a government job um i feel like that they're very secure i feel like for for the for the career people here this job it could be in an organization like that with a long-standing like tradition or organization like either a government job or some sort of you know um you know uh, you could be like at the head of an organization, like a position within that, but it's very fulfilling, very satisfying. Again, for some of you, you, this real, this opportunity is going to require quite a bit of travel and it could be a long distance travel. But again, it's like, I see there's an offer of love here. There's an offer of, you know, material success. You could be working side by side with one of these people as well. Okay, um, <clears throat> like legit, you could be, it's really interesting what's going on here. I feel it like at this time, it's like, you know, the, the sense of balance in your life is really good. Um, but also I feel like you could be working side by side with this person. Also, this could just be another that you have, yes, it's like you have a, a love offer coming in and you end up working side by side with the love of your life, basically. Let's look a little bit further and see what comes up here, but it's all good, you know? We have Moonstone, live your purpose. And obviously, you guys were meant to live well, <laughs> clearly. I mean, I don't know if any of you have like uh, applied to some kind of uh, program or internship or like you're gonna be working with a mentor or some kind of, uh, you're getting your, graduate degree, you know, like some of you could be working towards a PhD, something, something really awesome is coming in for you guys. And it's like, you're just, you are living your life's purpose. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're following that true North. Totally. We have, holy shit. We have a uh, Cerusite with travel root and crown chakras, crown chakras look at that crown crown what the fuck <laughs> oh my god so why do i feel like you're going to be like a queen or a king here seriously uh the way you're going to be living your life uh it's it's all good seriously like this opportunities are just too fucking good to be believed they're just like oh my god uh and obviously it's requiring travel okay so you can meet your person on route while you're traveling or while you're doing business or something like this, or even studying. We have, and this is card 10, by the way, we have card 24 with fluorite here. And we have rain, time to replenish. It's kind of interesting, what, like look at how this card looks and the water's just coming out like kind of like rain. And then what is there always after the rain? Rainbows. We have rainbows showing up twice here. And when I see rainbows, I think of um, the goddess Iris, uh, who was a messenger of the gods, okay, that uh, sent messages from the gods down to humanity and back and forth and also to the underworld, uh, to uh, Hades and stuff like this. So 
I feel like you are being divinely guided through this purpose here, your life purpose. And I feel like you guys could be getting really strong messages from your guides and, you know, from the divine basically that are, it's like leading you up to this moment. Really interesting stuff. So let's go ahead and let's go a little bit deeper here. We're going to check out this. Um, let's do time to replenish first with rain. Let's see what comes up here. Okay, with rain. <sighs> when the rains come, plants grow, animals drink, and the earth replenishes herself. Heed the lesson here. We each need time to replenish ourselves as well. There is great potential for increasing abundance, oh, you think, and stimulating new growth in your life right now. <laughs> Take advantage of the new rains that are coming into your life. The drought is over. Allow yourself to be replenished. Allow the earth to bring new growth and opportunities to you. Enjoy the freshness of life that comes following the rains. So there you go. So this is like also a reminder to, obviously you have a lot of abundance coming your way, clearly. Holy shit. I mean, it's just like very interesting. Uh, make sure you're taking time out to for that self-care and just taking time out from all the hard work that you're doing just so that you don't get overburdened or overstressed, okay? So, where is that? Oh, with the fluorite right here, let's take a look at the message here. Fluorite. Clarity and purity, clear focus, an end to cluttered thinking. Yeah. All right. When the way forth is clear, a sense of purpose and enthusiasm arises and the fog of distractions lifts. Fluorite spirit appears when confusion is about to disperse, giving way to pure wisdom and free, unambiguous intentions. It reminds you that you can achieve clarity by slowing down and consciously choosing to release any confusion or distractions. Like a pool, like a still pool reflecting the beauty of the sky, a calm state of mind can, mind can produce the clarity you seek, allowing your intentions to be pure. Obstacles to co-creating can slip away as you work with fluorite spirit to magnify all that is pure, good, and loving within you. Focus on that and it will be amplified. So the relationship messages in fairy tales, true love at its purest is often the magic that will break the old spell, keeping someone asleep, frozen, or acting out of alignment with who they are deep down. True love from the conscious universe always works like a magic potion, allowing you to let go of false stories about who you are and what you can create and experience. It breaks you out of the debilitating belief that you are not worthy of all you desire. You have been frozen too long, and as you experience the purity of love pouring into you from the conscious universe, you will more easily leave behind the patterns that keep you from the relationship you are entitled to enjoy. You deserve to have all that you long for and more. So work with fluorite to purify your attention. It is here to help you experience your connection to the pure love of the conscious universe that will strengthen you. So the prosperity message here is all becomes clear when you become clear, releasing any ambiguity or any ambig ambiguity, Jesus Christ, or confusion over mixed messages from the outside. Tune into radio conscious universe and align with the purity of love, wisdom, and strength being transmitted so that the afflu affluence you seek can have a clear channel to reach you. Your outer conditions will change as you work with fluoride spirit, becoming clear on what abundance truly is and letting go of old fears about not having enough wealth in a specific form. Riches are yours if you open the conscious universe ideas of what your abundance looks like. Remember that money is only a symbol of abundance and prosperity shows up in many different ways. So keep your eyes open. Wow. Jeez. So definitely you guys want to work with some fluorite. <laughs> so then we have uh, cerusite right here. Let's see what this card is all about. So obviously I felt like travel was in the cards most definitely for this group. So it is time for you to start planning a holiday. It could be a short break close to home, or perhaps a longer trip to an international destination. Your travel may be associated with business or pleasure. <laughs> yep. 
Either way, when you draw the uh, Sarusite card, it is an indication that travel is on the horizon. You may have even already booked a holiday or be in the process of traveling right now. Sarusite's message for you is that it's important that you create the opportunity to step out of your comfort zone and your everyday surroundings at this time. Even just a day trip would be beneficial. Wherever you happen to go, be assured the experience will be a positive one, opening you up to the new perspectives and broadening your horizons. This is a great time for you to try new things, make decisions, and actively plan what you would like to do and where you would like to go next. Sarusite is associated with the root and crown chakras. It helps you to adapt, ground yourself, and to feel comfortable in all different situations and environments. It is, it is known as a crystal for travelers. It helps with jet lag and also helps travelers to go with the flow. It's really interesting because, you know, that sounds very Sagittarius energy. So I don't know how many of you watching this are Sagittariuses or your person coming in. Like, so we have Aries here, but they could also be a Sag. So anyways, um, that was that. So now we're going to take a look at Moonstone here. So all the crystals being mentioned, you might want to look into using and working with to help you. So where is my Moonstone? Here we go. Live your purpose. Life is a journey. So weird. We're talking about travel and then this is talking about life is a journey. Okay. Obviously there's some forward movement and some forward momentum here with this. Okay. We each have a unique calling to find our own way along a path to a more purposeful life. It is time to discover a deeper meaning within yourself and ensure the actions you take and the choices you make are in fact intentional and purposeful. How can you make a difference? What can you contribute? What is your legacy? Follow your heart as well as your conscience. Just like the moon waxes and wanes, you may feel at times as though you are getting closer to and then further away from your true purpose. When you know you walk on the path towards your highest purpose, you feel fulfilled each day, each and every day. That is so true. So the core questions with this is, why am I here? What is my purpose on this planet? What would it feel like if I were living my highest purpose? Okay, and so if you want to know that when it comes to astrology, take a look at your north node because that's going to tell you all about that. Look at the zodiac sign it's in plus the house it's in. Both of those combined will give you exactly what you're supposed to be doing, okay? So um, crystal action here. There's an affirmation and then there's an actual action, like an exercise to do. It, the affirmation is, I walk my path with purpose. And so the action is today, write down three things your life would look like if you were living your purpose, then take action towards one or more of these values. Awesome. You guys, seriously. So it looks like you got a lot of abundance with, you know, waiting for you now take that leap and go for it. Okay. Just don't forget to take good care of yourself. And I'm just curious, like how many of you are actually planning on traveling here? Or if you, some of you just got a job that requires quite a bit of travel, I feel like some of you definitely got some kind of internship or some kind of uh, like big grant or something like this, that's going to lead to some sort of partnership that's really going to be fulfilling. And it's just going to light your life up. And it's just you're going to feel so at peace because you finally have achieved what you wanted. You know, it's all good here in this group. So anyways, that's it. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for being with me. Please make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell for further notifications. Uh, in the drop down box, there's information on how to book a personal reading with me, plus my Patreon information and my social media information. Thank you guys. I will catch you next time. Bye.